So in this video, we're going to see how we can use the Express.js framework to create web application. So we have seen that. So Express.js is a flexible Node.js web application framework and it is designed to create web applications quickly and efficiently. So we can use Express.js in our server to create web applications and then client can send request to that server and our express in the server is going to respond back to that client. So we can use the express.js to create rest APIs and also we can use that to create single page applications and also we can use that to create website with the server side rendering. So let's just see how we can use express in our project. So here we're inside the VS code editor. So first of all, we're gonna initialize our folder. So npm init dash y. Now this will create our package.json file. So here is our package.json file. So here is the name of the project, the version and so many other details. Now to use the express.js, we have to install that from the node package manager. So we have to write npm install express. So this will install the express in our project. So here you can see in the dependency the express is added. So now we're gonna create one file index.js. Now first of all we're gonna import express. So we have to write require express. Now this will return this top level function. Now we have to call that function and this will return the application. Now we can use the app and we can run different methods like app.get get method we're gonna work with the root path and the second argument it will take one callback method with the request and the response now here we're just gonna simply send the string welcome to express as a response now after that we have to use the app and the listen method so we're gonna listen to the port of 3000 and the second argument it will take one callback function. So here we're just gonna simply console log listening to port 3000. So here first of all we are importing express and after that we are calling the top level function to get the app. Now we can use the app and we can call different methods. So here we're just calling the get method and for the root directory we are simply responding with the string welcome to express and then we are listening to the port 3000 and also we are going to console log listening to port 3000 on the console. So let's just run node index. So here currently we are listening to the port 3000. So if we go to localhost 3000, so you can see we have the string welcome to express and this is one response that is coming from this express application that we have created. So there are several advantages of using Express as a framework in the server. So first of all, this is lightweight. Secondly, it has a very large community support. So because it has a very large and active community support, so that can provide a lot of plugin, middleware and resources. And thirdly, the performance. So because Express is using the Node.js, so because of this, Express.js is very efficient and fast and this is incredibly scalable. So because of all of these reasons, it is a good choice to use Express in the server as a framework. So that's it for the video. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.